Hi, it's Julie. Welcome to my channel. I am Scrap and Happy. I want to do a quick flip through of my uh, NevermoreCreations17.com design team project for February. I I think it's adorable, of course. I always do. Um, it is using the Ride With Me digital kit. Uh, you can download them or, or you can uh, she will print and ship to you. So if you don't have access or if you're having troubles with your printer or any of a number of reasons, you can still get your hands on uh, her printout, her printed digital kits. So it is uh, nine inches by five and three quarters. The base is a, um, a manila envelope and it's got a little spine Oh, that was so cute, They're like a half inch spine, one signature, uh, a little cute tassel, I couldn't resist, it just needed it, didn't it? And look at these babies, so cute, and a little um, bike charm and a bell, because you know we all need a bell on our bikes, and then some just circles on the strings, which if you don't like them, you know, you can just cut them off, but um, Anyway, and I have a closure. I didn't attach it, but um, it's really long and it's fabulous. And <clears throat> I just wasn't sure what to do if I should, you know, put a um, eyelet and you know, I just didn't know what what to do. Some people like them, some people don't. So I, I will include it and it will, uh, you know, wrap around. And I love this color here. It just kind of pulls out. So it is included uh, if needed or wanted. Also included are, these are the only things I didn't use in the kit. <clears throat> I'm trying to get better about using every single thing. And these are, there's a like a half sheet that comes with little um, bicycle riding type words. My bike is my best friend. Two wheels all the way. Uh, breeze in my hair. So several options I will also include. And then I guess that's it. So let's just get started. Um, and get where. I think you can see best some of the cover fabric just um, on a flip up in a little pocket in a larger pocket with a couple of um, my dog is just walking in so you may hear some <laughs> I just got back from a walk so you may hear some ruckus as she's coming to tell me she's home <laughs> um, so really any of the printed pages are from the kit. There's nothing in here except um, like tracing paper and um, oh, what's it called? Ledger paper. There's nothing in here except her kit and just, you know, your regular extra stuff. A little song. Tracing paper. A big journaling card. The backs of the pages are, it's a package I got on Amazon. It's coffee dyed papers. They're, they're double sided, amazing. So there's, I want to say there's 50 pages. So there's like 10 of five different um, patterns. Um, and it's great. It's really pretty, and the front and back are different from each other. So anyway, here's um, the backs are using that paper, and I will put a link to it. Selena at uh, Amore Fabrics, I think, had mentioned it one day, <clears throat> and of course, you know, anything she says is gospel to me, so I went immediately and bought it. <laughs> but it's, it's great. It's really nice. It's very pretty, and it's handy to have ready and double-sided and all that. 
<clears throat> Look at this. God, I took a tumble. That's how I ride a bike. <laughs> Perfect day for a ride. Isn't that pretty? So I use solid colors on some of the pages and in the uh, <clears throat> this coffee dyed paper on the others leaving plenty of room for journaling or adding in your own whatever's pictures or ephemera or stories or you know what what have you pockets you, it's it's uh, got a lot in it but it also has a lot of space if that makes any sense little coloring page and look at this I love this a perfect day three friends out and about and look it's got a pretty it probably a brooch maybe an earring kind of big for an earring back then but I love that it's just so pretty and the lace is um, dyed I dyed it with um, tattered angels so there's some pretty pink green there's uh, this <laughs> this one here was supposed to be green and it's very gray but it's perfect in here so I I left it the paper ruffle Let's see where were we uh, flip up <clears throat> and a sweet little card from the kit and you know if you're gonna go bike riding you need a map right <clears throat> little belly band and then a little catch down here so that it doesn't fall through. And this is some more of that lace that I dyed with the Tattered Angels. I love this. And there are a few, I would say, I don't know, I won't say, I won't even guess. There's a few big giant pockets, the whole size of the page. And there's things in it, in all of them. Uh, this is uh, like bridge score or something. Scorecard or I don't understand bridge, but I think that's what that is. And then a little journaling card I made out of a piece of map. With just some paper. Tag. Another um, full size pocket. And then here's. I thought this was so pretty. I found this in my stash. So, paper clips. Hold on. Isn't that great? It's perfect. Ooh. Anyway, just some note papers and then a piece of. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a piece of Amity Bloom paper I had left over. Of something and it needed to go in there. Then a very cool bag and on this bag uh, are um, advertisements. Let's see. Bicycle. There was another one somewhere. Oh man, did I cover it up? Maybe it's on the back side. I, I think it is on the back side. But I thought that was cute because it was advertising bikes. And then this also is cut to be a big, big pocket and also has a um, tuck on the side. And then an envelope with a piece of stationery inside. It's coordinating green, but not the same. Which I thought was really pretty. So I've been on a mission to use up my stash and I've been reorganizing, like going through every single thing I'm picking up and touching in my room. Um, it's a bedroom. We're empty nesters, so yay. <laughs> Instead of being so sad and whining all the time, I've decided to, you know, take advantage of the space and make myself a craft room. But um, it's just, I just keep bringing stuff in and bringing stuff in. So I'm trying to go through everything and be brutal and so I'm using up stuff and putting it where I can find it etc which is my main problem um, and look here's the center isn't it gorgeous 
I just think that's so pretty. Oh, look at that. That's, I hadn't even looked at this that closely. That's the kind of bike I need. Or somebody's <laughs> driving me around. I like that. Um, then the other side of the bag, also with a tuck and a... I'd rather be riding. And then a stuff in here. And then, yeah, here it is. There's more bikes over here. That uh, Amazon paper I got. This was um, a cutout. I love her. But I couldn't, I had to put some glue right here. She wouldn't stay back. And she's too far from the side to, um, you know, paper clip. So there's not a lot of room in it for some. Isn't that cute? I found a ton of little bitty ephemera. There we go, that's better. And so now I just go grab me some out of there, out of that drawer that says tiny ephemera. And it's just great. I mean, I know where stuff is. It's so wonderful. And then here's another um, piece of the map. It's not the, it's other stuff. It's not the actual roads, which I thought was kind of interesting too. And then just um, paper on the back. I love this. Isn't so that puppy? This guy's hat's off. He says, something came in the way. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> I love this. Lindsay's always got interesting things and, and uh, a variety of things that all go together. It's, it's I like it. And the colors are not all the same, but they all go really well together. It's, it's really a nice, nice kit. And then here's another guy, also a cutout, and the same thing. I had to glue this little hat right there so that, you know, he was falling forward. So I was able to stick a few things in behind him. This is just a pocket on the back, and then a, it says ride with me. And then a little flip. I think better when cycling. And then this is on two sides, so it's a tuck. There's some really cool coffee dyed paper in here. I got it in Happy Mail perfect size for that. And then here's another piece. Really pretty. So here's an example of the, the wide variety of things, but that do go together. It's a ball bearing bicycle shoe. It's, I mean, I just wouldn't think to put fashion things in with a bike riding thing uh, kit, but I love it. It's, it's just it's, um, what's the word? All encompassing. <laughs> and here's a couple of journal tags, cards, whatever. An envelope <clears throat> made out of uh, one of the pages. One of the pages got all jammed up in my printer and so I've had so much printer problems lately the last few months that rather than try to get it to print again I just cut it up and salvaged it this card is made from a, pa a piece of that page uh, so this is like on one of the sides it's a lot bigger of course but it's gorgeous and I love that he's got his little buddy in the basket. So that's actually a page. And then this, yeah, is the other part, the other half of the page. 
and uh, we make high class cycling garments a specialty for ladies and gentlemen pattern styles and measuring forms free and then another little piece of something just to hold it shut another full size pocket with note papers inside writing all day and all night if I could <laughs> I don't like this guy and then it has a uh, an angled pocket and another tag. So that is it. It'll be in my Etsy shop. I'm going to show you, let me wrap it around. Show you. I mean, it's huge. It goes around several times. So if, and if you didn't want to use it as, as uh, the closure, you could still. You know, the colors are great. You can cut it up and use it inside. And then also the extra words. All right, that's it. Thank you. Have a great day.